Hey, hi. How are ya? Let's do a little letting go of stress, shall we? I'm putting this guitar over there. As usual, I'm here just to check in with my own body, do a quick little uh, stretching session, maybe a little strengthening. I see I am still working with the upper body square rectangle. <laughs> we got you going that way, so that's different. <sighs> I'm going to take just a couple of breaths to bring my attention into my sits bones and root myself into the center of the earth. Thank you for the love. Hang myself from the center of the sky and kind of stretch the spine in between. In fact, let's turn that into a little bit of a gentle side-to-side -side stretch. Hmm. I encourage you to make up your own routine or follow along, but uh, always be listening to your own body and loving to your own body. It's good to be a little playful and curious as well. I'm going to deepen the side stretch a little bit. I'm just kind of following my own body, seeing what feels good. Today in the upper body region, letting go of some stress. Let's do one more a little bit deeper. I'm using this hand to kind of brace and push back so we can really push into the side stretch. Just enjoying that, rooting that hip down into the ground, really getting a nice long stretch, and then coming back up to center. <sighs> Shake that out a little bit. I tend to accumulate a lot of stagnation in the shoulders, and then I'm going to come back over to this other side. Got a pillow in the way over here. Gonna scooch over. I can brace with that side. And then again, just pushing into that stretch. Noticing how the two sides are different, how they're the same. Rooting this hip into the ground as much as possible. I'm trying to get a nice long stretch through that side. Again, I'm gonna use this opposite hand to brace and push into that stretch, just exploring that, looking for a good stretching sensation, and then coming back up to center, shake that out again, roll the shoulders, go the other way, like bike pedaling the shoulders, we can go together, just loosening them up and the other way. Get all the straps and things in place. <laughs> I'm going to take another breath. Bring my awareness into the sits bones. And again, rooting myself into the center of the earth. Rooting myself into the center of the sky. Let's do a little bit of neck rotation. Just checking in with the head and neck. I'm going to add the breath and starting nice and slow, just gently forward, chin toward chest. And then back, lifting the chin, not crunching in the neck. Looking for that lifting sensation through the front, all the way up through the neck. And then again, gently chin toward chest, looking for that stretching sensation up the back, including the back of the neck. Coming back to center, I'm going to add a stretch over to the right, stretching on the left. Still 
encouraging that shoulder to drop. Nice long stretch. And then over to the other side. To the left. Hola, Hector. Good to see you. Hope you're being good to yourself. Relax in those shoulders. Nice and long through the neck. It's a good time to remind you there's not one right way or one wrong way to check in with your own body. Give yourself a little love. Let go of some stress. There are many right ways and many wrong ways. <laughs> Only you can know what's right for you. And my guess is that's going to change as soon as you figure it out. So you better keep dancing. That's what I think about it all. Let's do some neck circles now, putting all that together. Just gently. I'm going to try not to drop my computer reading glasses. Going nice and slow today for me because I got a hitch in there. But you go at whatever pace feels good to you. I'm trying to remember to. Relax those shoulders, maybe imagining a big circle with the chin. Again, not forcing anything, just noticing, encouraging. Makes me want to make an adjustment, but I'm going to hold off and go the other way a little bit. Still nice and slow, just noticing where I got some hitches in my neck. And where I'm grateful that I have some flow. Coming around back to the front. I'm going to shake that out some more. Do some wacky, wavy, inflatable arm tube person impression. I have to do slight adjustment. Don't try that at home unless you know what you're doing. Mm. I got this hitch over here. It's chronic. <laughs> that means I'm doing that to myself, doesn't it? <laughs> anyway, it's all right. Let's do a little more stretching through these arms. I'm going to bring the left arm across the body, holding on to it with the right. And just trying to encourage some relaxation through the arm. Moving that shoulder around. Moving the wrist around. <sighs> Enjoying a heavy sigh or two. In case you feel like you need permission, you have permission to sigh. Wave your arms about. Put your hands in the air like you just don't care. Or like you do. And bring this other hand across the body, holding on to the right arm with the left hand. And just trying to relax through that arm and through the shoulder to carry a lot of pain and stagnation and stress in my arms, so it's good to remember regularly to let that go. Sometimes I kind of have to knock it loose, because I'm pretty good at storing it in there. Wiggle that around some more. That's related to that hitch in the neck giddy up there, so it feels good to Stretch that around. Again, I encourage you to play in your own body. Listen to your own body. See what feels good. I'm going to do some big arm circles with that shoulder. I'm kind of using this hand for torque on my knee to help give me some more range of motion there. Because that feels good. Let's do some little circles 
with the fingers, checking in with the wrists and the hands. There's not one way, but whatever way you choose, I hope you keep it loving and playful and light. That's my wish for you and for me, since we're all interconnected. Hmm. I'll keep working on my clap snaps. You keep being you. Thank you for letting me be me. Enjoy a lovely day. I'll be seeing you. Peace.